I can categorically say it that Jeno Kahindo Tafiri, I'm disappointed in you. Before the members of parliament sitting on the Fiscal Infrastructure Committee write their report on the digital number plates, they have labeled the project fake. Please don't allow this. It's fake. Yeah, that's why Benjamin signed the two reports. You, you remember? The fact that we have had this journal here, it's a blessing to this committee. Their fears were worsened by a confession by the Minister of Internal Affairs, Kain Dr. Fide, that the police, which had a key role to play in the project, was sidelined. I don't know. I've never seen them. I've never seen anybody from global, uh, global what? Security. Global security. Yeah. <laughs> never. <laughs> I've never seen them. I don't know how they look like. Never talked to any of them. I don't even know who is behind them. My view, I think, is that uh, we shall move at an appropriate time to halt the whole process of this number plates because everyone seems to be you know, running away saying, I don't know, I don't know, including general. Otafiri said that police benchmark report shows that the system was not in use in any country except by trucks belonging to companies with large fleets in Russia. Joint stock company Global Security, which signed a contract with Uganda for the project, is domiciled in Russia. Otafira wondered how the contractor would meet the November deadline because of the frosty relations between Russia and Poland where the number plates are to be manufactured. They wanted to visit the factory that they were told the factory was in Poland. And as far as I'm concerned, Poland is technically at war with Russia. Ipso facto, every Russian company operating within NATO is under sanctions. So I was wondering how we were going to implement this project in these circumstances. Unless otherwise, if those who are pushing the project can explain this, I have nothing more to add. In a separate meeting, members of the committee were also appalled by the likelihood of the revenue collected from registration going to the contractor. Prospective figures contained in a document of the financial model indicate that an excess of 12 billion shillings shall be collected monthly and the contractor shall take 85% for a period of 10 years. So there is not going to be a day when URA collects and disperses information without the necessary approvals. And that's why, Honorable Chair, I said part of the unreadiness why this system could not take off was that they had not answered these key questions. And there is no member of URA that has attended any revenue sharing discussion or model. Musinguzi was categorical that the 700,000 shillings for each number plate is an exorbitant charge on the taxpayer. But then there is also a cost that will be draining money from uh, the taxpayers, which could be spent on other areas other than this technology. I think, in my opinion, charging 714,000 from a border border probably the registration and clearance of border borders will significantly reduce. In June, members of the Kampala City Trade Association petitioned Parliament over fears that the implementation would take away jobs and compromise privacy through data obtained from Ugandans. For government, the argument is that the measure will curb the violent crime. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. <laughs> Thank you.